Hi guys, so today I thought I'd do a glitter mix with you. I wanted to do a red base mix. Um, I don't have any red mixes right now, so I figured I'd do that just in time for the holidays. So here I have half a tablespoon measurements. And the first glitter I'm going to be using is Recollections. And this one's cherry, and it's a really pretty fine glitter. It's kind of got a, holo it's got a holographic quality to it. So I'm going to base my mix in this. So I'm going to do four scoops, so that's a two full tablespoons. So that's the start of that. The next item that I'm going to be adding is this Creatology glitter, and it's just a red glitter dot. I'm going to be adding a tablespoon of that. So the next item that I want to add is this beautiful holographic rumbus and this is a half a teaspoon. I'm going to stick the whole thing in there. Hopefully I can get it out without making a mess. So now I want to start bringing in some black. So I'm going to add some of this black glitter dots. And I'm going to be adding a half a tablespoon of that. I'm also going to be adding some of these larger metallic red glitter dots. And this is about a half a teaspoon. Adding half a teaspoon of these caviar beads and these are in black. I'm also going to be adding a half a teaspoon of black stars. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. So to that, I also want to add some of these Martha Stewart Garnet Large Hexes. And I'm going to add a half a tablespoon of those. So I'm also going to be adding some of this holographic tinsel in red. I'm going to be adding half a tablespoon of that. And then the last item to my mix is these matte stars in red. And this is about half a teaspoon. So that's what we have so far. I'm going to go ahead and add some more of the red and black glitter dots. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of the red glitter dots. And another half a tablespoon of the black. So that's it for this glitter mix. I'm going to go ahead and mix some up and put it on a sample nail to show you guys. Okay guys, so here's the sample of that nail. I just mixed it with acrylic and then put it on the inside of this sample nail. So you guys can see it and hopefully get an idea for the movement. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.